So in this clip we'll be adding a folded string of fabric at the end of the sleeve and fastening it to the sleeve with the help of the 3D button tool which we didn't have a chance to use yet. And this 3D button tool can be found above the 3D window right here. So we have the button tool, the buttonhole tool and a way to fasten both of these which is the fasten button tool and we can also move the buttons and the buttonholes with the help of the move tool. Now before starting let's prep the area and before I started this clip I actually went in and pulled the fabric on the sleeve a little bit lower so I don't have as much wrinkles now that I did before and before you start working on this I would suggest that you would do the same so basically just pull it apart to make this area where we will be inserting our piece of fabric a bit more smoother since that way it's going to be easier for us to work and before we start let's start by positioning a pin right here in this area so once we're under simulation mode and we're going to grab this and we're going to also press w on our keyboards and just grab this point into the air so this is meant for the easier positioning of the fabric that's going to be basically sewed on the inside part of the sleeve so let's grab our internal polygon tool and we're going to make a short internal line right here at the end of the sleeve. Now it doesn't really matter which sleeve you choose to work on because they're both under symmetrization. So the changes will be applied to the other sleeve as well. And let's also use the 3D window to see how we position this and I think we can move it a bit. Somewhere around here, I would say. And I think we can also make it a bit shorter. So the piece of fabric that we'll be creating is going to be sewn onto this piece. So let's go and grab the rectangle tool and click and drag to create a rectangle. Make sure that the width is approximately something as the line we just created. And next we're going to go to the 3D window and position the piece of fabric with the help of our gizmo. But actually before we do that we can also use our segment sewing tool to connect these pieces together. And it's going to be easier to position it with the gizmo once that we see the seam lines. So something like that, like this, and be sure to somehow tuck it in so underneath the sleeve because we don't want it to be sewn on top of it so we need to position it to make sure it's going to be sewn on the inside part so something like that let's see if if maybe our patterns are overlapping All right, and let's simulate. There we go, we have the piece of fabric positioned. Now first, I'm also going to clear this area a bit up. Maybe use the pins once more. So just sort of get rid of the wrinkles that are in this area. It's going to make it easier for MD to simulate once we have the buttons on. And let's also put a pin at the end of this fabric so right here and let's just move it with the help of the gizmo so not by pulling so this is going to be easier oh and before we move any further i'm just going to click on the pattern in the 2d window and lower the particle distance to 10. since we're working with a very small piece it's advised to go lower with the particle distance because we, that way we get a lot more information so this strip of fabric is going to be folded just like that. And also make sure that it's going straight down and that it's not crooked or some sort. Okay, so I think this area is prepped very well. Now we can proceed by adding the 3D button and the buttonhole. So if we think about it, the button is going to be sewn onto the shirt and the corresponding buttonhole will be on the strip of fabric. So let's take our button tool in the 3D window. Now we can position a button here in the 3D window or in the 2D window. I prefer to do it in the 2D window. 
so just let's opt for something like that and we're able to see it here as well with my move tool i will also try to position it somewhere around here i would say and let's try with the buttonhole as well so the buttonhole is going to be here where our pin is also located so let's see if we can see it maybe we can also move the buttonhole with the move tool somewhere around here all right now we can also access some settings to this button and buttonhole in the object browser so if i have the button tab open you see this is the default button that we just created and we can also lower its size to about 12 and you can also play around and change the shape if you want and the weight you can even choose the color and so on we're just going to leave it at that at this point now let's open the buttonhole tab and select the default buttonhole and we can also reduce the size it's already reduced and also you can change the shape or maybe even add your own and so on now next the only thing that we have to do is connect this so fasten these buttons and we're going to do so with the fasten button tool and basically click on the button and click on the buttonhole or the other way around and actually doesn't matter to give md the instruction that these two should be together now before i start simulating i'm actually going to press ctrl and w to get rid of all the pins that i just created and simulate and as you can see here everything's fine but of course our button is actually not going through the strip of fabric the way we want to and that is actually something quite common once we're dealing with 3d buttons so don't get discouraged sometimes we just need to correct it a bit more so i'm just going to pull this fabric somehow you can even try going off simulation mode getting the select move button tool clicking the button right click and go reset 3d position but i already see that this is not going to work in our case so we're going to have to manually correct this and of course if we had like a tighter fabric if we had something with less wrinkles it would be easier but since we're we have an oversized sleeve it's even harder for us so what i'm doing is i'm just trying to pull this fabric through the button so the button knows it needs to go through the buttonhole well there we go there we go okay let's try to remove the pins once again with Control and w to make it fall down all right and i'm satisfied with the overall effect and now all that is left to do is do the exact same thing with the other sleeve and i'm just gonna let you do that on your own and in the next clip we will be adding details to the shorts so some pockets we're going to be putting some internal lines and getting to know a little bit about layer clones